Hello guys. Good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to discuss moving loads and the rolling loads of statically determined beams. Moving loads, the concept of the moving loads to study effects of moving loads on the statically determined beams. Effects of moving loads on statically determined beam. That is, first we have to calculate maximum shear force, maximum positive shear force, and second one we have to calculate maximum negative shear force, and third one we have to calculate bending moment, and fourth one we have to calculate absolute shear force and bending moment. Rolling loads, we have to calculate for the effects of moving loads on this maximum positive, negative, bending moment, and absolute. Shear force and bending moment. First, we consider a statically determined beam of single cast concentrated load. See here, we have drawn this statically determined beam. This statically determined beam carrying a single concentrated load of W, and this load is moving from left to the right. Left support is A, and right support is B. And this is the reaction at B, and this is the reaction at A. And the distance from the left to the right it is L meters. And this load is moving from at a distance A meters from the left support. And first we have to calculate maximum positive shear force. Calculate this maximum positive shear force. This maximum positive shear force occurs when the load is on between section X, A and X. As you see, look at here. The maximum positive shear force takes section X is acting at a distance X meters from the left support and the load should be between section X and B that is this positive shear force occurs when the load when the load is in section XB and that is there is no load on AX. The maximum positive shear force occurs when the load is on section X and B. That is no, there is no load on section A and X. Mark is RA, left reaction and right reaction is RB. And the shear force at the section X, it is plus RA. This is positive shear force of this determinant B. And the RA is unknown to calculate the value of RA if take moment at B equal to 0. This is L minus A. RA is acting at A, but we are taking moment at B. Distance from A to B is L. It's acting vertically up. Clockwise equal to the anti-clockwise. And A to downward force. Force is acting vertically down at a distance L minus A. Therefore, R A is equal to W into L minus A by L. This is the reaction at A. And now, this A is the variation from the 0 meters to the L meters. This load is moving from 0 meters from the left support and the L meters from the right support. And now we have to calculate shear force. And now calculate shear force when a is equal to 0 meters, that is the shear force at A. It is plus W into L minus X, L minus A by L. And A is equal to 0, that is W into L minus 0 by L. It is plus W. Next, when A is equal to X meters, then the shear force at X, it is W into L minus X by L. When A is equal to L meters, then the shear force at B, it is W into L minus L by L, it is 0. And now we have to draw positive shear force diagram. And next positive shear force diagram, draw on horizontal line, this is the axis of the beam. Above the axis of the beam is positive and below the axis of the beam is negative. And the shear force at 0 meters and shear force at L meters. 
Cf for the zero meter cities falls to W. This falls to W. And shear force at B it is zero. And the shear force at X it is W D L minus X by L. This is cross to shear force diagram. And now we have to calculate the new shear force diagram. Next topic is calculation of Negu shear force diagram. This Negu shear force occurs Look at this. This negative shear force occurs when the load is on section A and X. That is, there is no load on this X and B. Therefore, shear force at X is equal to minus RB. This is shear force at X when the force is acting vertically up on the right hand side. In shear force constant, it's a negative. Therefore, it is minus RB. And now calculate the value of Rb. Take moment at A equal to 0. This is the given condition at A. Rb into L. And load is acting at this point at a distance A. Therefore Rb is equal to W into A by L. This is the value of reaction at B. And now construct the negative shear force diagram. When a is equal to 0, that is shear force at A, it is 0. When A is equal to X, that is the shear force at X, it is minus W into X into L. When A is equal to L, that is the shear force at B, it is minus W into L by, it is equal to minus W. And now plot this negative shear force diagram, draw on the axis of the beam, it is AB. Below the line it is negative, above the line it is positive. It is 0 meters and this is 1 meters. Shear force at A is 0, shear force at X minus WX by L, shear force at B is minus W. This is minus W, this is the negative shear force and this is section X. This quantity is WX by L. And next we have to draw absolute shear force diagram. And next topic is absolute shear force diagram of positive and negative. Negative shear force diagram and positive shear force diagram. See, absolute shear force diagram is nothing but shear force maximum of maximum. That is draw axis of the beam A and B. Above the line is positive and the below the line is negative. Maximum value positive diagram is plus W and shear force at B is 0. And the negative diagram below the axis, shear force at A is 0 and shear force at B is minus W. And this is shear force of the section X. It is W into L minus X by L and this quantity is W into X by L. This is absolute positive shear force diagram. Below the axis is absolute negative shear force diagram at A, at section X and at section B. And next topic is, next one you have to calculate for this moving load, bending moment for this moving load, moving concentrated load. Let's calculate bending moment for this moving load, moving load W. So this is, there are two cases in this, A and B, take section X, this is W, 
moving node at a distance x and this is a meters. This is the second case. Load is in between section A, X and B. So you know we are calculating the bending moment when the load is on section A and X, when the load is on section X and B. Calculate the bending moment. This is the reaction A, this is the reaction B. Bending moment at X. It is Rb into L minus X. In this case, bending moment at X. It is R into X. It is a positive. When the force of acting in the vertical here, it is positive. When the force of acting in the downward and bending moment is negative. That is bending moment at x is w into x by L into L minus x. In this case, the bending moment is w into L minus x by L into x. And next, when x equal to 0, that is bending moment at A equal to 0. When x equal to L meters, that is bending moment at B equal to 0. When bending x equal to x, that is bending moment at such an x, it is W into L minus x by into x. In this case, say this when x equal to 0, that is bending moment at A equal to 0. When x equal to L, bending moment at B equal to 0. See this two, when the load is on section A and X, when the load is on section X and B, these two bending moments are identical. These two are identical. And next we have to draw shape of the bending moment diagram. And next topic is plotting of the bending moment diagram for this moving load. This is A and B. Above the line it is positive. Bending moment at A is 0, bending moment at B is equal to 0. When x equal to L by 2, that is the bending moment is maximum. It is W L by 4. And the shape of the bending moment is parabolic. It is W L by 4, it's a positive. And this is This is the shape of the bending moment. The shape of the bending moment for the moving load, for moving concentrated load, it is parabolic. Thank you guys.